Maui the Orca, written by Kira Weltmer, Kylie Cervello, and Elena Balance. Hi there, I'm Maui the Orca. The big blue ocean is my home. There are loads of other species that live here. Species are a group of similar organisms that are able to reproduce with one another. Hmm, I'm getting kind of hungry. Are you? Oh wait, silly me. I bet our diets are a bit different. Now is a great time to talk about how different species have different diets, and yet how all of our diets are connected. Food webs are used to show the order of who eats what in their diet. We have lots of different roles in our food webs. I'll walk you through my food web to show you the different roles some species play, and then maybe we can walk through yours. My food web starts with the phytoplankton. These are our primary producers. These little guys run the rest of my food web. Primary producers tend to be autotrophs and they have the highest energy level out of everyone in my food web. What's an autotroph, you ask? Well, it's an organism that can get its nutrients from the sun and it can make its own food. Up next is the zooplankton. They are known as primary consumers. Primary consumers eat the primary producers, and that's how they get their nutrients. They still have high energy level, but not quite as high as the phytoplankton. Primary consumers can be either autotrophs or herbivores. Who eats the zooplankton? Well, herring, of course. These are our secondary consumers, which means that they eat the primary consumers and are the third trophic level. They have more energy from the sun than me, but less energy than photoplankton and zooplankton. Squids love to eat herring, and they are next up on our web. Squid are tertiary consumers. They are part of the fourth trophic level, and they receive less energy from the sun than the fish they eat. Seals are also tertiary consumers in my food web. They also like to eat fish, like herring, and receive less energy from the sun than the fish they eat. And then there's me. I eat squid and fish, making me a quaternary consumer. People also like to call me an apex predator. I have the lowest energy level from the sun. You can see the energy I get from the sun is very low. I have to eat a lot more than species lower in the food web to get my necessary energy and nutrients. Now that we've taken a look at my food web, let's take a look at what yours might look like. I've heard from some friends in the ocean that shrimp is pretty popular to the land kiddos like you, especially popcorn shrimp. Shrimp like to eat algae, which I am thinking is something you wouldn't like to eat because it's green. Though you may not like algae, I've heard of some other popular snacks you all eat that includes crabs and anchovies. Anchovies like shrimp too, like you, but crabs prefer mussels. Mussels also eat algae like shrimp do, but I agree with you guys on land. Algae is not very tasty. If we put all that craziness into a food web, it would look like this. Those are our food webs. While each are different, they both show how energy flows from the sun to us. Sadly, my orca friends and I are losing the stability of our food web. Humans continue to destroy our habitat and make it difficult for us to find new areas to live. And with these new areas come new struggles. Not only am I affected, but also parts of my food web. Overfishing and pollution has become a big issue in my community. But there are ways we can fix this. We can encourage enforcement of fishing laws and also spread awareness on the issue. You can do your part by making sure you dispose of your trash properly. I think, with your help, we can one day bring the population of my friends and I back to normal. Vocab. The end.